Now, do you hear me now, guys? Yes, 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 you do hear me. Great. Good morning, Jenna. Good morning, Thanos. Karen, good morning. Stephen, hello. Welcome to our nice live trading session this morning after the rate hike last night. I hope you were all in front of your screens and trading trading good morning beatrice welcome welcome it's a wonderful day and our fingers are burning to get into some trades right 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 we will start this morning guys be aware we have our chat room you can ask anything you want on chat uh whatever you want hello mary welcome welcome <laughs> waiting for you to start really our trades it's italy and tax there is no or jenna it's italy and tax our fingers are burning we want to trade after such a rate rate hike last night you <laughs> Yes, yes, Mary, this is it. We had a great day and um, we will continue this morning enjoying the volatility on the markets. And we will start immediately. You see, I have my Italy 40 screen open and I'm ready to press the button. Guys, I will go long on Italy 40. Get ready. I will go long on Italy 40. It looks very interesting for me. Um, and I'm in. I'm in in Italy 40. I just opened a long position on Italy 40. And my fingers are burning. So my take profit is at 22,000. 105 and my stop loss is at 21,950. There we go. So we went Italy 40 long. I've been waiting for this trade for the last half an hour to start and make it with you guys it's very interesting and we will make some money here so italy 40 we entered at 22:43. good morning matthew nice to see you again did you had yesterday also the chance to trade on the volatility of fomc so you saw gold what happened with gold last night our our nice technique worked out and it was great so let's go make a small i hello jeff hello adrian welcome 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 very nice i'm fine jeff how about you i mean we had a very nice evening yesterday the ray kike uh gave us some nice volatility yes adrian you made 1k on gold great this is how it should be hey if welcome nice to see you um yes we will have you are excited that's the way so let's go make a roundup what happened last night? Uh, yes, we made a lot of money yesterday with uh, gold if and uh, today we might do 
in gold again it hit the 13000 let's start with gold uh what happened with gold to have a look and to see if we can do something so as you see it had a very nice up uh up uh move and uh we hit our third 1300 level and it goes up it goes up and we might enter here as well let us see how it goes you see wonderful wonderful also this morning was also very nice gold you see very very nice guys shall we open another gold position what do you say i think it is a nice time to enter uh, the price will correct a bit and then i will enter to get a better price so until we get a better price let's go through everything to see what happened and then uh, come back to gold to open by the way our italy 40 position which we opened exactly three minutes ago is already profiting so anybody who was entered with me italy 40 a uh, very nice trade and we will make some money over there so let's go dax dax wonderful uptrend um wonderful uptrend on dax it opened with a gap this morning and it is already high enough and it closed the gap so i believe now it will stay for a while stable and then it will continue the move so we will have a close look on air dax italy 40 we opened already a position cac cac the same picture is going up good morning dean welcome um uk 100 is in a stable stable area not much to get usa 100 also here after the hate uh, the rate hike you see here a nice uptrend visible everything is looking quite interesting today down jones what happened yesterday with Dow Jones? You see, yesterday it had a strong drop due to the due to the high grade, and let's see how it will develop during our session. Gold, as I said, we will look closely and get a nice entry level to go long on gold. Silver, silver, the same picture as gold. It's now in the consolidation area and we will see and continue so brand oil brand oil um is dropping oil is dropping as well right now <laughs> maybe we might we might enter another oil position uh -huh. let me see maybe i will enter an oil position saudi arabia is going today for the first game as you know today the world cup will start so a very nice day very interesting not only for forex trading after the rate hike it's also for all football lovers <laughs> <laughs> Jake, well, <laughs> I mean, if you followed the discussion with Kyriakos, you know, Messi and New Zealand dollars seem to be correlated. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> so, so, DAX, Italy 40. Yes, we have an open position on Italy 40 for anybody who didn't enter. With me, Italy 40, you can do it. You will get a better price. And uh, I'm thinking right now if it's a good possibility now to enter DAX. 
Patrick, welcome. Finally, you made it. What you missed? You missed the Italy trade. We just opened it um, seven minutes ago. Um, now I wouldn't enter it if uh, you are. We are profiting already, so it's a bit too late for you to enter. And now we are looking to the markets after the break hike. No, no, don't short it. I believe it will go up, but you didn't get the good price as we wanted. So uh, let me, um, I will let you know if there is a possibility for you to enter, Patrick. But no worry, we will enter it later on again. Let me see, UK 100 looks short. Looks short, you say. Looks short. Um, I don't like the position of it. I don't like the position to go short on UK 100. Dean, um, I wouldn't enter it right now. Also on the five minutes chart, it uh, shows a downtrend, but the problem is it's in the... Mm, uh, on in the middle of the Bollinger Band, which is a support level. You can consider that as a support level. And if it breaks through, then you can enter. If not, it might be also a re reversal. So I uh, keep over here a bit away. Uh, not really interesting right now. Uh, going back to gold. As I said, on gold, we will wait to see if we get a better price to go long. And um, I think the countdown goes here. The countdown on gold is quite in. Yes, you see, gold price will drop for a short while and then we will go long on gold because the overall trend is a long trend and we are above 1300 on gold. So once we are above 1300, it's a psychological level for gold. The trend is going up. So I expect for gold that the price will go up, Mary, because, uh, let me see, Italy. Let me see, maybe we might enter it already because the price is dropping quite significant. Yes, when you check at the one hour chart, you see we have a very clear uptrend on gold dean and it is above the 1300 psychological level that's why i believe it will go up our italy 40 position is already profiting 400 bucks guys we opened it uh, just 10 minutes ago a uh, good, good movement here. I'm looking at gold to get a nice entry level to um, to enter the market on gold. As you see also here, it's on the middle Bollinger Band. Once it hits through, we will enter gold, guys. We will enter gold. So um, let's go also to back to DAX, not to miss any pos uh, any nice possibilities over there as well. Italy 40, France, UK 100. Always have a look on it. So, as you know, in half an hour, we are expecting some news from England, from the island. So, that's why UK 100 is quite interesting. 
to look at in half an hour. Patrick, if you would like to enter Italy 40, now it's a good time to enter. You will get a better price than I did. So if you want to enter it, and anybody else who didn't enter Italy 40 long could go now for long. So, um, yeah. Yesterday, as you know, FOMC decided to increase the interest rate. So what does this mean? A interest rate decision. First of all, it is the first time since 2008 that the interest rate is in the same level of 2% um, after the crisis. It wasn't so high since the financial, uh, since Lehman. And um, in general, the economical situation in the States look very nice. As you know, unemployment is going um, down extremely, which is a good factor for the, econo of the, of the macroeconomics of a country. The inflation rate is stable, and now the interest rates are high. What does this mean for, for the country? People will get their money and put them in, in the bank to get some interest rates. So for gold, this means it will go up. It's a, yeah, it's a good investment because the banks have also money. Oh, Patrick, you were shorting. Why you were shorting Italy 40? Ah, okay. I see. Ah, you are talking to you about uh, Euro USD. I see. I have some questions here about uh, um, about forex, and I see also that Kiriakos just opened a buy limit. They put a buy limit. So I think maybe it's time to pass to my colleague. Uh huh to hit the forex market. Guys, 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 get ready for the one and only, for the one and only, the king of forex. There we go. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Forex Trading Desk of uh, Trademe. Uh, what an intro from Elif. Thank you very much, Elif. Good morning, Stephen. Good morning, Adrian. Good morning, Mary. Uh, first of all, let's say a few words about what happened yesterday. Our predictions were correct, but the volatility of the news actually stopped some of our positions. Other positions were closed later this morning. So the important thing is that in our predictions, we were correct. And some people are asking me uh, why Euro dollar went up. Uh, can you see my screen? Uh, now you can see my screen. Okay. So uh, let's have a look on Euro dollar. So basically, everything was doing fine. Our take profit was at 1.1798 here, basically. And then the news came and we hit stop loss, but eventually Euro dollar went up. Now, uh, many of you are wondering why the Euro dollar is going up if we have an increase in interest rates. I mean, the first principle of technical analysis says that market action discounts everything. Okay? So this means that the market has already taken into account this increase. We finished with it. Let's keep on with our course. Uh, 
So that's the first principle of technical analysis. And euro dollar, uh, based on the analysis we have done, is dry, is going for as a first target for 119.80. Okay. Now, the problem now for technical analysis is when to enter the market. And remember that we now we should adopt the technique buy on dips. Buy on dips. So for euro dollar today, I will not touch it at all unless I see a dip, a sharp decline. As soon as I see a sharp decline, then we will go for it again. Personally, I prefer to break above these two resistance zone areas, 118.26 at 118.10. Let it break, let it break above it, and when it comes back to it, then we will fish it, guys, okay? So for the moment, we don't want to touch euro dollar exactly as it is, because as you can see, there is a huge gap in prices. I mean, from here to there, it can go at any time. So we need a dip to buy euro dollar targeting 119.80. Now, we have entered a, a short position on USD cut. Now, let's see together USD cut. Now, as we can see on the four hour chart, okay, we have a very strong resistance level here for dollar cut at 130.36. That's why our stop loss is at 130.40. And on the dollar cut, based on the analysis I have performed regarding overbought and over short levels, there is absolutely nothing except the lower Bollinger Band to prevent dollar cut from falling down to this level, 128.25. So the logic says we should risk this much to get this much. It's a matter of perception of risk and reward ratios. I mean, trading, you just get an idea and you execute it. As soon as you feel comfortable with the risk management of the trade, go for it. And that's what exactly I'm doing here. I mean, why should I go long here? There is absolutely nothing to prevent the price from falling further downwards except this lower Bollinger Band, which I personally believe will be broken to the downside. So looking just at the numbers in terms of reward to risk ratios, okay, we are risking $2,700 and we are aiming for $5,361. Now the question is, if you lose that trade, are you finished? If the answer is yes, then don't place that trade or open a lower position size. So my idea of dollar cut trade is I want to risk this much to get almost double for it. There is a very strong resistance level. Now, if we hit stop loss and the price goes above that resistance level, then we will see for alternative scenarios. But for the moment, it seems that this resistance level holds. My only concern is the lower Bollinger Band because you see the price is going up. Usually the Bollinger Band acts as a support, but we will see. Now, the second trade we have opened today, we went long Aussie dollar. Let me show you what I have seen on Aussie dollar. Now, as you can see now, Aussie dollar is on a support level. It was not broken yet to the downside. I mean, to see a break, I, I need a valid break below the support level. So, I went long on that. And also, I have confirmed my long position by a bullish cross on the five-minute chart of the MAs, okay? Like dollar cut, every time you want to go short or long, check the five-minute chart. Here, I have a bearish cross of the moving averages, so I'm going short. And here, I have a, I'm talking about the moment you will push the bottom. If you want to go long, check the five-minute chart. Here, I have a bullish cross on the MAs. And that's why I went long, okay? So looking on the four hour chart, I mean, I'm risking, I have put my stop loss at uh, 7020. Now, why 7020? Why 7020? Because as you can see, that was yesterday's low at 7037. And I put always my stop loss 15, 20 pips below this low just to avoid spikes like this. So that's why I put my stop loss there. So my stop loss is there, okay? I'm going for this support. I mean, intraday, 
expect the price to fall a bit down up and then break above it i mean we didn't have a break of this support yet i mean like here uh, the announcement was made and then we had a hover above it we should expect more or less the same now i mean we might go below and go above it doesn't matter i got my confirmation from the five minute chart i at the time i have pushed the button for a long position and I have entered a long position. Now, what is the target of this now? There is, a, based on the oversold overbought analysis I have performed on Stochastic, I have discovered that there is, if, if we break above this level, guys, I mean, there is absolutely nothing to prevent the price of Aussie dollar to reach our first upward level, which is 76.50. Look what happened in the past, for example. It declined, most probably will go long here, and here it came very quickly. Then we broke that level, here it came very quickly. Then it broke to the downside these levels and it came very quickly here. Now it's breaking above this level, I believe very quickly in one, two, three days, we will reach our target. Of course, if the trade goes well, uh, I will show you how to add positions on it until we reach this target. Also, we have placed a, a pound dollar limit order. Now, you will tell me, Kiriago, we are at the support level. Why you didn't go long market price? We have a support level at 133.84. Okay? Based on the five minute charts, the 183.84 was here. It broke above it, the moving averages, we had a bullish cross, then why you didn't enter long position? The reason is because in approximately, it's a pound day today. At 11.30, that's 8.30 UTC time, in 12 minutes from now, we have too many important news for the pound. So volatility is expected at 8.30, and then at 3.30 Cyprus time, 12.30 UTC time, we have the most important announcements for the US dollar. Retail sales about US dollar. And at, at, in 12 minutes, we have retail sales for the GBP. So we are just 15 minutes before the news announcement. Why should I place a trade now if I didn't do it before? So I, I will wait for the news, and I have placed a buy limit order at 133.50. Now, why I have done that? Let me show you why. If I go to the 15 minute chart and analyze the last two days, I have used the low of yesterday with the high of today for the moment. What is the strongest Fibonacci retracement level, guys? Just type the strongest Fibonacci retracement level. What is the golden ratio of Fibonacci? Those of you who have bought the pro package, you should know that. So what is the golden ratio of Fibonacci? Does anybody know what is the golden ratio of Fibonacci? Exactly. Exactly. 61.8. So what I have done, I believe that maybe we have a decline on pound dollar. I'm building scenarios on my, in my head. And I have placed my buy limit order close to 61.8. Okay? Of course, if the price doesn't break this level during the news announcement, I will check and enter earlier. But for the moment, I'm having a buy limit order at this level. My stop loss is just a few pips below my second support level. And the target price is at 134.40. So this is the logic behind my buy limit order. So is everything clear? Any, any questions regarding my approach, my way of thinking? Do you have any alternative scenarios on pound dollar that you would like to discuss with me through the chat room? Be more, you are more than welcome to do that. Now, don't forget, uh, as I said, Patrick, maybe you are right, maybe you are wrong. I mean, there are 12 in uh, two minutes. In just three minutes, there are news coming up. And is my rule, 
we never trade the news. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is not poker, Patrick, it's, it's Forex. All right. It's up to you to do whatever you want. I mean, I'm just telling you how I'm trading the market. So even though I know that I might, maybe the price rallies to the target, I don't care. It is more fun than poker. Of course it is. So I will wait, guys. I will, I will wait. Maybe the price booms to the upside and hits the take profit already because, before we even have the chance to enter. Okay, who cares? We have many pairs to trade. So we have talked about euro dollar. We have talked about dollar cut. We have talked about the dollar. We have talked about pound dollar. Let's see the next candidate on the list. And the next candidate now on the list is Euro Z, a trade that hit stop loss yesterday. Now, looking on the four hour chart, I have identified the support level at 115.15. That's 100 pips away from the current market price. Okay? So, uh, what I'm expecting now, uh, of course, I cannot enter there because if I enter there, my stop loss is too big. I'm expecting a retracement towards the, FIBO, the moving average of the four hours. And I will examine the, the, pro the probability of entering a long position while it approaches this area. So for the moment, I'm not touching Euro Aussie. Now, Euro Yen. Let's see Euro Yen. Euro yen, as you can see, it has found a very good support on the moving average of four hours. And the most important thing, the Bollinger Bands have narrowed a lot. The only thing that I'm concerned about Euro yen, okay, is that I have a resistance level here. And, and this prevents me from entering any long positions. So what am I what am I waiting for Euro Yen to enter long positions? You don't can you hear me? Guys, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Alright. So what I'm waiting to enter long positions, I'm waiting for, uh, for on the 15 minute chart. If we go on the 15 minute chart, I want the price to break above this level. And then I want to see while trading above this level, the moving averages of the five minute chart to move also above this level. So I'm waiting for these two lines. Pound dollar. All right. You see, I mean, who, 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 who bet on that? Because that's a bet, guys. <laughs> Patrick, you went all in. Okay. Nice for you. Good for you. So we see now your pound dollar that it did whatever we said. Maybe it reaches our take profit level before we enter. Okay. For those of you who didn't enter pound dollar, I, I congratulate you. For those who entered and are making money, I'm, I'm happy than ever. We wait for pound dollar. We wait and we will get a retracement and go for it. I mean, wait, patience. So what I'm waiting for Euro Yen is for the moving averages to break also above this line. And if we have a retracement, we will go for it. So I'm monitoring uh, closely Euro Yen. Now, Euro GBP, it seems to me a very, very, very attractive short position opportunity. But we need to have a look on the 15 minute, on the five minute chart. OK, we will wait for a retracement. On, for, on euro pound and most probably we will enter a short uh, position however we need to wait for a retracement so i'm monitoring also uh, on the five minute chart euro pound the target price for euro pound now will be the the bollinger band 87 80 we will wait for it and act accordingly now uh, pound Aussie. Okay, Paunozi, I think it's time to enter a long position, guys. So we are going for a long position on Paunozi. We buy Paunozi. We just bought Paunozi. 
It's a very, it seems to be very good. Now, what's the difference between pound Aussie and pound dollar? It make a much slower move. So it's good to go long pound Aussie. So we have bought pound Aussie, GBP, AUD. Now, our stop loss should be lower than this level. Let's check it, 176.85. So the stop loss is 176.85. And our target now for Paunozi, we are going for 179. All right. So this is our TP trade. TP 1.79. So we're talking about 200 pips and more. So that's our TP. Let me also put the stop loss and the TP, 176.85 and 179 is our take profit level. For me, it has clearly cleared this level and we are going higher. Okay, so we are risking this much to get almost double. So we had our third trade for the day, Paunozi. You can see how nicely broke above the level and how nicely behaved and is behaving now. We have bullish cross on the MAs. Everything seems okay for Paunozi to go further up. So just to sum up, as I said, I'm monitoring closely Euro Yen. If we see a close above the, this level, we will enter a long position on Euro Yen. Okay, and our stop loss will be also very tight. We need to see a close above 130.05, targeting 131.15. Okay, but we definitely want to see a close above it in order to enter long positions. We are closely also monitoring Euro GBP. Let it fall. We will wait for it. Dollar CAD is in the money already. Aussie dollar. It's a very nice trade, Aussie dollar. I believe on it a lot. Uh, it's getting there a bit lower than the price we get. So that's all we have uh, for the Forex market so far. Do you have any questions? Do you have any requests about a particular FX pair you would like to share with me your trading ideas? Please you are, be my guest to do that. Okay, so uh, we are canceling the buy limit order of pound dollar. So let's cancel the buy limit order of pound dollar. There is no point of keeping it there. Cancel buy limit order for GBP USD. So we are canceling that now. It has already moved. We are just waiting for the price to retrace and enter for a long position. And if we enter a long position on pound dollar, let me check. Uh, okay, okay we will see where we would place our take profit. Usually I like to get extension levels for this case. So if we break above 134.45, guys, we are targeting for this level here, 135.65. So that's our target for take profit for pound dollar. So we are monitoring Euro Yen. We are monitoring Euro GBP and we are monitoring also pound dollar on the five minute chart to enter long positions. So Euro Yen and pound dollar are high on my list. Euro dollar, I'm monitoring that. I want to break above these levels because we are now at the resistance zone. So I'm not entering long positions at the resistance zone. Let's break above them and we are targeting for 119.80. So that's all. Uh, no, it's not too late. We need to wait for a correction, guys. Jake, wait for a retracement, okay, towards your moving averages. It's, ne it's never too late about anything. I mean, and I repeat, it's up to you to do whatever you like. Personally, I'm not touching it. I don't want to run after the market. Damien, we had news announcement. Good morning, Damien. You just came here. Good morning. 
Uh, anyone else? Uh, so it will drop from that level? I don't know. I don't know, but I will only touch it if it drops. I'm not. I don't like to chase the markets uh, din. Okay, you know. You know. Uh, you don't need to go after the markets. Even if it goes, let's say it goes one thirty four seventy. I don't care. You went short pound New Zealand. Okay, here we go again with our New Zealand pairs. <laughs> Let me open a new chart, guys. Who went short pound New Zealand? Andrian. Okay. Let me load the setup of pound New Zealand. Maybe there is a good opportunity. Uh, pound New Zealand, you went short. Okay, Adrian. Based on what analysis you went short or it's feeling again? <laughs> okay, good luck with it. Of course, we are with you. But the resistance level is at 191.11. Okay, so it, it holds it nicely above the moving averages. And the real resistance level is at 191.11. So, and we also have a support at this here. So, uh, I would rather prefer to go long actually rather than short positions and get this move, but personally I don't like it. I, I prefer to touch the 191 level and then I will see what I can do. <laughs> here is a room of cameras here. All right. Well, no. <laughs> Andrian, uh, you need to control your emotions definitely. Okay. And uh, I'm not saying that you are wrong or right. But based on my experience, believe me, maybe you are, maybe this suits you one, two, three, four, five times in a row. But the moment that it will not suit you, you will best you will burst your account. So be careful. Dollar cut. You followed me, Dean, on dollar cut. Okay, we are making some money on dollar cut. Still a lot to come. Uh, as I said, feel free to close any positions you have. Dollar yen. Aussie dollar is making some money. I can't find my tp on the chart why it's not showing okay look at my screen you go to tools uh, tools din options charts uh, let, uh, let me find it and I will tell you how to see your trades. I mean, there is an option somewhere saying view trades. Okay, I will, I will, I will find it, okay? I will find it and let you know. Give me two minutes. So I'm transferring you to a leaf. I will answer to your question with exact test, uh, steps in to find your trades. So I think I, now pound dollar will have the correction that we will wait. We are closely monitoring that and we will decide accordingly. So wait for my answer, Dean, and I will find it for you. Thank you. I'm transferring you now to Elif. Hello, guys. Hello. Welcome back. Um, anybody with me in Italy 40? Anybody with me in Italy 40? Patrick, you are losing. <laughs> How come you opened the sell position on oil? Um, Guys, whoever's with me on Italy 40, we are profiting. We are profiting. Uh, I'm I'm making right now 1,200 bucks on Italy 40 and very, very close to our take profit. So getting ready to make some ching ching over there. The time is coming. Making money with it. This is what we want. <laughs> yes, Mary, Italian queen, whatever. <laughs> Yes, we had that today with the Queen um, talk with Patrick. Yes, Italy, Italy 40 is giving us nice profits. But the other thing which I want uh, to, <laughs> the other thing which I wanted to tell you guys, look at the charts. Look at the charts of DAX of France 40. They have all the same pattern currently. They have all the same pattern. UK 100 doesn't, but 
Germany, Turkey, and France, they move the same uh, way. And yeah, Jenna, we are very close. Uh, yeah, Jenna, you are long on ducks. That's good, that's good. Um, the, and also USA 100 and USA 500 and Dow Jones, they are all, they show almost the same picture. So when we decide to open one position on those three assets, we can go on all three the same direction today. Everything shows us that they work together today. So we are aware of it when we open a position on, um, on Dow Jones, we can open the same direction also on NASDAQ and on S&P. So everything is very interesting going. And our Italy 40, what is going on with our, our Italy 40? Let's see. Let's see before this uh, session ends to close with some ching ching moments, with some nice ching ching moments. Gold, gold, as I said, we are, uh, okay, um, um, we are waiting for a nice entry on gold to close the position, uh, to start a long position on gold. It is right now on 1,302. 1,300 is our psychological level. It's coming, hitting and going back. And I'm waiting to make a good, uh, good entry point here. Patrick, cryptos is not for me. I'm losing like a winner. Okay. <laughs> I can totally understand you, Patrick. Cryptos, they are not bad, but for trading cryptos, you need to have the pocket money because as you see with cryptos, the margin, the leverage is quite low. Uh, spreads, I have to say, spreads are uh, on our platform uh, not bad. They are really good. Other platforms, they ask for the triple of the spread, what we have. So on the spread, I can't complain, but um, the leverage is low. That's why we have to be aware you need to have uh, the pocket money to trade Bitcoin uh, or Ethereum. But um, they are very volatile assets. There are a lot of uh, possibilities to enter and exit the market and make money. There, there are a lot of uh, possibilities. And I'm looking um, during the afternoon, I might trade also a bit on Bitcoin or Ethereum. I'm uh, right now analyzing them for the last two days to see how we can enter and make some profits here. Going back to the question of, um, uh, okay, Dean was asking me about ducks going long at this point. Um, the time when we started, our session, Dean, we were over here in this point and um, it wasn't a clear sign. And right now we are on the middle Bollinger Band. Okay, and our, our uh, stochastic oscillator is giving us um, contradictive uh, signs. That's why I didn't enter it yet. I'm very close on it, but when I enter, I will enter DAX and France 40 together because they show me the same. That's why I don't enter it, but I'm very close to it. So going back to Italy 40, guys, I'm very very, very, how can I say it, tempted to close the position before triggering take profit. What you think? Dean, what you mean you should trust your stop loss level? You mean based on DAX or you have a stop loss level on DAX or what do you mean? Yes, tax. Okay, what is your stop loss level? Dean, just for you, for uh, in general information, um, 
we in Germany have a saying, trust is good, controlling is better. <laughs> it's something which I really uh, <laughs> love. <laughs> yes, trust is good, controlling is better. And on, on the charts is the same, trust, you can trust your feelings, you can trust, I don't know, your nose, they're good. <laughs> but uh, you have to check them and control them. So uh, if you put based on trust a stop loss level, um, check them with your technical analysis skills. You know, if you, uh, I think you are in the intro package, if I'm not mistaken, Dean. So if we have a section of um, technical analysis here, if you check them out, develop your skills on technical analysis and then you don't need trust you know and you control you know and it's the best thing <laughs> trust you can you can trust your wife not the child <laughs> so so uh, well 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 very nice so going back to our gold gold we were looking as i said <laughs> Ah, okay, Patrick, this is another point. Don't trust the wife, Tr control her, okay. <laughs> so, guys, I was looking for gold. <laughs> I was looking for gold, and I think our time to enter has come. And this is not based on trust. It's based on knowledge. So why I say it's close to enter our gold position. As you see, we had a nice uptrend. I will show it on the one hour chart. We had a nice uptrend on gold. It breaks through. And now we have here a consolidation, right? Then then let me see basically the time hasn't reached yet no no it's no it didn't come because when we, we are aiming higher profits and right now What is your opinion about gold, guys? Go, gold, go. Okay, this will be a very short-term trade, guys. Just for your information, very short-term trade. We go in, and once we get a bit of profit, we go out, right? Okay, this is what we will do. Hard. We go in. We go in with 10 lots of gold, 10 lots buy, gold, so, and I'll put my take profit, I put it very conservative, as I said, it's 13.05, so, and my stop loss, I put at 12.98. This is what I put. Oh, why I didn't, why it didn't trigger once again. 13.05 and 12.38. This is what I put. There we go, there we go. I will write it down now. I went long on gold, gold. And I think Mary had a question and I don't remember finishing what I wanted to tell her about gold and the rake hike. I think something came up and I didn't reply to her. I will just write it down here. I did, did I reply or I didn't? I think I didn't. I answered you, great, great, great. You know, I'm getting old, I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm getting old. 
it's better to ask so I don't leave any question back, you know, Mary, then, um, uh, <laughs> then not asking, right? So that's good. That's good. There we go. I'm just getting wiser with some more wrinkles and white hair, gray hairs, right? <laughs> So, very nice. We just put a gold position and uh, we are trading here to make some money. Going back to DAX and France 40, guys, I've told you um, once we open any trade on DAX or France 40, we open the same trade. Like if we open a trade on DAX, we will open the same trade on France 40 and the same uh, is also for uh, USA 100 and USA 500 and also Dow Jones. Those three assets, they uh, seem to work today together and this is what we will do. We will follow them and do a trade all together. Um, going back to oil and... <sighs> oil was looking actually... A bit contradictive at the time we looked at it, and now it looked like it had a huge, huge movement. Uh, we missed it, but never mind. Hello, Emma. Welcome. Welcome, Emma, to our nice live session. So, uh, how long I'm going to keep Italy 40? Well, uh, yes. You know, I talk, I'm a woman, I talk too much and then <laughs> I leave them behind. <laughs> I'm a woman. Well, I, uh, I have a take profit over there and a stop loss, but I will, um, before we close the session, I will close it. I'm waiting just to get a bit more out. I know that it will go a bit higher. I see it on the stochastic oscillator. As you see, there is still space for up movement and uh, we will get there. So Emma, just for you a short recap, um, we have opened uh, Italy 40 position. Uh, a long Italy 40 position is giving us some profits right now. We are aiming more. That's why we are keeping it. We have a gold position open. We just opened it. Um, we um, are going long also on gold. On the other hand, we have a close look on DAX and France 40. Um, we will enter the same trades on each of them once uh, there is a nice entry level then the same is for um, nasdaq smp and dow jones once we enter one trade we will enter for the two um, three other assets the same trade because it seems that today there is a correlation and Emma, yesterday, I don't know if you followed, uh, yesterday we had a rate hike in, in the States based on the good economical outlook of the States. The um, um, Fed decided to hike the rate. It's um, the second time this year that they hike the rate. Rate last time it was in March, not the other one yesterday. Great, Emma, you made five hundred dollars. Great day. That's what we want to hear. And um, um, well, they are planning to do um, four rake hikes this year in 2018 it was planned to be just three but apparently they will increase it to to uh, four so you have still the possibility to make money when during the next upcoming rake hikes this was the first one uh, the second one, basically, the first one that we traded together, and the next ones we will trade. And maybe we can even make a live session during the announcement so we can get the move, right, guys? What do you think about it? If you want to have a live uh, trading session during, during um, uh, the next F, uh, FED 
uh, rate decision, let me know on chat and on Facebook or on Twitter. And um, if you really like it and you want it, we can arrange one. Right, guys? Great. So, uh, yes, gold is amazing. We are, uh, we are making right now some profits on gold. As you can see, we are making profits and this is what we want, right? This is what we want. We want to make some profits. And as I said, we are looking for a sharp movement here and um, then we will close the position. So, um, Kiriakos, would you like to give us a short update about Forex? I, I see. see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if I find anyone in the road telling me that women are not talking too much, I don't know how I will react. <laughs> now, um, what we have entered, the new position that we have entered, we have entered the short position on dollar yen. Okay. And let me show you the dollar yen chart and why we have entered it. This is the resistance level. Uh, the market has broke below it. So our stop loss will be a bit above this resistance level. And the take profit we will go for this level. The only concern that I have about dollar yen short positions is the lower Bollinger Band. Uh, pound dollar, we are waiting for a long position. Euro yen. If we see a close above this level, guys, we will enter a long position on, on Euro Yen. So we are waiting for the price to break this level and we'll go for long. Pound dollar, we are still waiting for a correction. Maybe we get it, maybe no. Uh, and as you can see now, all of our positions of our current trades are in profit. We will check them by the end of the day and if we are satisfied by the profits, total profits, we would close them. If not, we will keep them for the next few days to develop. Now, Euro dollar, uh, as soon as it clears this area and the moving averages go above this area, we will, uh, we will place a buy limit order to buy Euro dollar. Uh, Euros is not attractive. The same case for Euro pound. We are still waiting for a correction to the upside towards our moving averages on the five minute chart to enter short positions. Uh, pound New Zealand still doesn't look attractive for me. Either I will, I will try for a short position if I see to touch this level and then I will examine it one and two times before entering short because pound New Zealand has been in a prolonged downtrend. Now it has entered a trading range and usually after a trading range, if a trading range occurs after a downtrend with this duration, almost one, one and a half months, uh, I, will, I, will, I prefer to have a break above this level and then start for long positions. Uh, okay, I'm transferring you now to Elif. Thank you, Elif. Thank you, Kiriako. So, guys, I'm entering again a Italy 40 position. Uh, oh. I'm entering again, the price dropped down and we are back to our entry level of the first trade. I believe in my trade, it will go up. So I will open another buy position. So I have two buy positions on Italy 40 and I will put my take profit a bit lower and I will cash out double. <laughs> yeah, Griagos will uh, be now disappointed that I say cash out, but um, we will do some ching ching with the two trades. So I will put it on a bit lower level. So actually what I did right now is I um, I um, I increased my exposure on the market because the price dropped again to that level in which I entered and I know the market will go up 
And uh, since it will go up, I said it's a great possibility for me to enter it again and increase my exposure and get the money from this movement. That's why I entered again. Uh, Italy 40 and you see already it's moving. So I went again long on Italy 40. So and my take profit, my stop loss, let's write the stop loss first. Um, will be at 21,900. 50 and my stop my take profit will be at 22.991. There we go, guys. There we go. And we are aiming for some money here. We are aiming for some money. And I believe it will come soon. I smell it. I smell it. So there we go. There we go. I went again long on Italy 40 for everybody who is interested in IX. I increased my exposure and I will get my money in there. So what we have done until now, you see already giving us some profits. This is how we want it. And I believe the movement will go sharply up. So going back to DAX. DAX, I neglect, neglected DAX for the last few days somehow. Okay, we had some trades the last yesterday, but a real nice move with a lot of profits, like above 1K. I didn't aim these days. Mm, Angela Merkel is a bit... Um, concerned these days and um, it's dropping a bit the DAX because of the trade war which is uh, expected right now between the states and uh, European Union. As you know, I think yesterday uh, somebody asked me about it yesterday somebody asked me about the trade war yeah well every if you check indices you will see that uh uh yeah patrick that uh, all the companies they are producing um and exporting their products and since they are exporting in case of a trade war which means um um, the states are asking for some tariffs, then those companies will be quite affected. That's why it's a bit interesting right now. So I see, Dean, you, you have been asking me since yesterday about Nikkei, about Japan 225. Uh, and I have been looking at it for a while already. And um, I see it moves in, at the moment quite... <laughs> This is what you think, Patrick. Trump will win and the rest will lose. <laughs> Let's see what will happen. Let's see. History, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. I think we are a very, um, very uh, lucky generation um, because we lived quite a lot of important uh, um, historical important movements in there we go guys our take profit is coming close oh i see our oh first ching ching first ching ching on italy 40 today we made 100 we made 100 uh, 101 <laughs> 1100 40 bucks on Italy, 40, ching, ching, great. This is what we want. What is our other position doing? I see uh, I didn't modify it 
let me see maybe i will leave it run and get some extra prof profits out of it let's do let's wait of it let's look at it let's look at it yeah there we go it's around it's around yes i will leave it. it's 600 bucks right now 600 bucks within six minutes 600 bucks within six minutes this is what we want let's go a bit up and we will close this position as well so we get some money in let's see let's see go go baby go let's see on the one minute chart wonderful movement wonderful movement and we will get it yes i know everything this is how we want it so italy 40 go back to italy 42 c to get our our profits in let's see let's see yes this is what i want i want 600 bucks out of this trade i want 600 bucks guys i want 600 bucks and then i will close it no i will not close it partially i want my 600 bucks Patrick, I don't close it partially. I don't close partially. Only when I'm hatched and I'm losing, then I might close partially a position. But right now I want to go full exposure and get my 600 bucks out of it within seven minutes. How to go, baby? Go up, go up. I'm not greedy. I know what will happen. I know it. That's why I'm waiting for it, guys. I know it. I know it, and it will, because it's hitting. You are not. You are greedy. You are greedy. Don't get greedy, Patrick. Something about the World Cup. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> Basically, we are not trading on Tadawul. If we would trade on Tadawul, the Saudi Arabian indice called Tadawul, uh, we could trade after the game. You know, I'm sure it won't have some results <laughs> on Tadawul. Other guys had come on, baby, go a bit up to close. Give me the pleasure of closing this position. Give me the pleasure of closing this position. So you see how it got stuck on this level, but I'm sure it will go up and we will close. We will close. Let's 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 count. It's let's count backwards. What about DAX? What about DAX? Yes, DAX is going up. Then Italy will move as well, I think, right now. Why it's not moving? Or the last minute, no ticks came in. No ticks came in for the last minute. Last minute, no ticks. Yes, DAX is also struggling on the same level. Now we got a tick. Now go up, go up, baby. And then we will close the position. Once it goes up, we will close the position to have some another ching ching moment. So, Patrick, did you close your ducks, the Italy 40 position, which we traded together? Did you close it? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Italy 40. Italy 40. I want 600 bucks out of this position before 600 bucks. I'm not closing it. Get ready. Now it will go up. So what, what, what is far, far away from 600 bucks? No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not far, far away. And I will close the position. You see over here, it looks for an uptrend. So I will get another few pips out of there to close the position. There we go, six and, oh. come on, baby. I am, there we go, 600, 621 bucks. Ching, ching, guys, 
ching, ching. So we made until, <laughs> yeah, Mary, ching, ching. So uh, yesterday, <laughs> yeah, we made on Italy 40 today, a profit of approximately uh, 1,800 bucks, not bad. <laughs> Yes, I am. Yes, Jake. I know. I have the nose to smell the market. This is what, that's why it's big. I have the nose to smell it. <laughs> no, yesterday somebody was asking me. <laughs> yesterday somebody was asking me what this ching ching means and where, in which language, uh, what does this mean? Basically, when you throw a coin in a wallet and two coins are hitting each other, what sounds it makes? Ching, ching, right? <laughs> and from there it comes this ching, ching, just for your information, <laughs> just for you guys to know. That's why um, it's called ching, ching. So maybe I think also when you uh, remember the comics you were reading when you were uh, kids of Dagobert Duck, um, when he was uh, swimming in his co gold coins, sometimes they were writing also the vo uh, the sound in this bubble, ching ching. I think it's also over there. Maybe I can find something and show it to you guys. <laughs> so I think um, Kyriakos wants to give you also a short update regarding um, his uh, the forex world so we made some profits on italy 40 and also we have a running position on gold uh we will uh, um follow it, it closely and maybe we will close it before the session ends so i'm passing shortly to kiriakos to give you a nice update on the forex world Thank you very much, Elif, for the pass. So welcome back again. Uh, so far, we will make a small recap of how our trades are performing. Remember that we have shorted dollar cut. It's where we, we got it, more or less. We have also bought the Z dollar. It's struggling around the support level. Nothing moved for the moment. Pau Nozin is exactly where we bought it, trying to go further up. Dollar yen, we have shorted dollar yen is still where we got it, so no important movements. We are waiting for a correction on pound dollar for long positions, and we are waiting for euro yen to make a setup for a long position, the same for euro dollar. Now, today is the start of the World Cup, and some of you were asking how, when are we going to talk about the World Cup? Let's talk now, guys. I mean, the first match is Russia, Saudi Arabia. What are your predictions for that? Type them in the chat room. Germany. <laughs> no, Germany. Germany will not even make it to the eight. Russia for short. Okay. Easy win for Russia, Damien. Russia win to zero. You know, uh, I was discussing at the cafe with a guy this morning before I come to my work, and he said that they put the match on Thursday, today. Okay? And the Ramadan of... Saudi Arabians ends tomorrow. So what does this mean? Uh, they will be, the Saudi Arabians will be exhausted, actually. I mean, it's the Ramadan season. It, it ends tomorrow when they play today the first match against Russia. So this will give a further advantage to the players of Russia, and I believe that they will have an easy win. I mean, personally, I believe uh, it's an over. I mean, 3-4-0. <laughs> exactly, Dean. So this is a bit unfair for the Saudis, but this is the program of the World Cup. So my prediction score is going to be 3-0 or 4-0 for Russia. That's my prediction. What do you think, guys? No, I'm not, I never betted in my life on football. Never. <laughs> I mean, okay. What are you? <laughs> $1,000. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't know the prices. Yeah. There are no Fibonacci golden rules on football, right, Kiviak? No. <laughs> there is only one team in football, and this team is Apoel. There is not another team in the world. So, uh, 
144. I like Damian, you have Forex on the one screen and then Betfair on the second screen. <laughs> okay, you are a trader, man. You are a trader. Okay, I like this. Okay, so uh, these are the predictions for the Russian, for the Russian Wake Up. <laughs> okay, adopt the gambling on football in Forex. Don't do that, please. So, um, as I said, we are waiting for a long position setup on euro dollar, for a long position setup on pound dollar, for a long position setup on euro yen. Our dollar cut rate is doing okay. Our Aussie dollar long position didn't move. Uh, pound Aussie is where we got it. Dollar yen, we are short. We will see what will happen about that. And pound dollar again, we are waiting. Okay, euro in, we don't have any any interest. Euro pound, we are waiting for a correction for a short position. So uh, this uh, is what we have for today for the moment. Uh, we will keep our positions. Don't miss the afternoon session. Of course, I don't know if Elive wants to add something to her trades. From me, we have placed three trades. We are waiting to place even more trades, pound dollar long, dollar yen we have a short position, euro yen for long positions, we are waiting for the signal, euro dollar for long positions, and euro pound for short positions. So basically we have, let me sum everything up, we have dollar cut, Aussie dollar, pound Aussie, and dollar yen, we have open positions on these pairs, we are monitoring for long positions, pound dollar, euro yen, euro dollar, and for short positions, euro GBP. That's it from me for the moment. I'm transferring you straight away to a leaf. So don't miss our afternoon session at one o'clock UTC time. Hello, guys. Welcome back. So anybody with me in the gold position? Anybody with me? If so, if so, yes, 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 we are going to close it. We are closing it. I'm closing it with 350 bucks profit on gold. I didn't want to leave it open for a longer time because I see that it hits the same price level all the time, you see, and it's turning back. That's why I closed it. Another ching ching with 350 bucks. So overall today we had a nice morning. We made 2,100 48 bucks this morning. It's nice in the morning session live with you guys. A great, great possibility. And if you look right now to gold, you see it's dropping back. So I just got my profit out of it and closed the position. So today we made this morning live with you guys 2,148 bucks. Ching, ching, not bad for the start of the day. We had, uh, yes, Adrian, very profitable. We had uh, one Italy position. It dropped down. So we opened another one position. We increased our exposure. So we got over there um, on two positions together. We got 1,800 bucks on two positions together. Um, we had a gold position, which we closed with $300 profit and overall it was a very nice morning on um, DAX. Uh, we couldn't get the best entry level, uh, no clear pattern, so that's why we didn't enter it, but I will keep it on my screen for the rest of the morning and if I see any nice entry level i will enter and keep you updated on twitter and facebook that's why guys if you didn't do it by now i just can repeat it follow us on twitter it's very important for you guys because we are updating our trades over there so on the other hand uh, we have also our facebook profile uh, page just like us also on facebook and get updates 
over there throughout the day if you see if you want to watch how um, the rate hike yesterday affected the market please visit our web page our partners web page um, forexlife.com and get some information over there nice guys yes um if you have any questions um you can always book with me okiriagos a one-to-one -one session uh if it's included in your package if not uh reconsider the package you the course you got already and well yes i think we had a great morning guys right yes i think it was a great morning and you see italy 40 start to drop again very nice we had good entry and exit levels i'm quite happy this morning and looking forward to trade with you in the afternoon so have a nice afternoon bye bye guys see you later Thank you.